going into a band, you might be naive and say, I want to be in a band because I don't want a job. I don't want to work. Well, you definitely shouldn't be in a band because it's a, it's a hell of a lot of work and you never really pull out of it. You're just always thinking about it and uh, trying to come up with new ideas and fun stuff to do. I mean, the, the minute you start doing old shit or repeating the same thing, you get burned out. And uh, so it's just always creating something new is what keeps you going. I started in San Clemente, I was with a friend down there. I had met Matt, I'd known him all through school my whole life, but never hung out with him. I said, hey, you wanna start a band for a party this weekend? Pulled it off, wrote like five songs, I'm like, ah, oh, it's fucking easy. So let's uh, let's move up to Long Beach, get away from all the burnouts and go uh, make a band. Co Coachella, um, I'm not exactly, it was just an offer came to us and, uh, and the timing was right, so. Uh, it's gonna be fun. It's cool to play. It's you get little some recognition for a band, people, family members. I said people are really happy about this. They're like you made it, even though we're still eating at soup kitchens and living in a warehouse. psychedelic little kid African Tijuana paint job and uh, it just caused too much attention so we decided to paint it something more chill and put California Church Teen Choir on as a decoy so that we didn't get uh, hassled as much. These are little benches that we cook on when we barbecue and throw out a little shade and hoop so we don't get too fat drinking every day on tour. Welded on locks, I welded on, and I welded on uh, storage on the top so I can throw on boards and rafts and little things we find on tour. So it's kind of thrashed. We just went on a little mini tour, or just a show out in Vegas, Valentine's Day. But a um, little kids' fort, basically. All we could afford, but it's comfy and we love her. And the bus's name is Lizzie. Beds, Anthony. Matt Taylor, me, Kyle Straka's Shantytown, and Scott's got the king size one. But this is the bumpiest part of the bus, so he might get extra room, but he can't sleep while we're driving. It's tight, it's dirty, it gets hot, it gets freezing, it gets stinky, but uh, it works. Yeah.